what is going on youtube the time is finally here rocket arena has finally released their official 3.1 patch notes and by the time this video goes up it will be live in the game now if you remember patch 3.1 has been talked about for over a month it's promised all of these different character balance changes and artifact balance changes it was also the reason that the second official tournament got postponed and before i could even sit down to record this video i had people messaging me asking me had i read it and giving me their opinions on it now i'm gonna be completely honest in this video moving forward and i'll give you my honest thoughts but to jump right into it the first thing at the top of the patch notes list is bug fixes and it says that there was a bug fix for a crash that sometimes happened on bot mistine i had never seen this bug it never happened to me but this is the only time a bot is mentioned in this entire patch notes which means they haven't tweaked any of the bots and so the overpowered bots are still going to be overpowered and if you come in my comment section talking about what i've never seen any overpowered bots then you're probably not playing against the extreme level bots so do with that information what you will the second bug fix is that they added a fix for an out of memory crash experienced by some xbox players this was one of the reasons that fsg gave and why they actually decided to postpone the tournament and get this patch in ahead of time is because a lot of xbox players were experiencing this crash again i play on pc i can't personally attest to this but if it means that people stop crashing that has to be good for the game so i'm good to see it in after they address the bug fixes they drop this little i guess intro into the updates and it reads, as promised in our 3.0.0 update notes, we wanted to make some fairly significant changes in this update to help shake up the meta. Our goal was to target some of the competitors that have been dominant for a long time, as well as bring up some of the underperforming ones. Now, upon first glance, this seems all fine, well, and good. But, I'm gonna say it, what's the point of trying to change the meta if there's no ranked in the game for there to be a meta in? If the only meta you're looking at is a tournament that happens once every month and a half, I hardly consider that a meta. That's just good players playing good competitors. Like, good players playing good characters in the game. So, I don't really understand them, their reasoning between quote-unquote trying to shake up the meta when they still have not told us anything about ranked. But getting into the specific character changes. First up is Blastbeard. He is one of the quote-unquote meta characters. You see him on almost every team in the tournament that did well. And essentially what they done, they gave him a little less health and make him do a little less damage. There's no necessarily, there's not necessarily any changes to his kit specifically. No specific abilities or anything got changed. But he has less health, so he's easier to knock out. And he does less damage, so he can't knock out people as easily. Honestly, I don't think this is a bad thing. The good Blastbeards are still probably going to be good Blastbeards, but making him a little easier to knock out for the not-so-good players, not necessarily a bad thing in my opinion. Next up is Boone. Boone's not good. He's not played in the meta. He's not a high meta pick. And even they, even they address that he is tricky to balance because he is a sniper. So what they decide to do is his special ability, the little whirlwind they call Zeke's Vortex. They are making it shoot faster, does initial damage on contact instead of a little damage over time. They're making it harder to dodge, essentially, and it does a little more burst damage when it hits you. I think that's interesting. Maybe it'll work out. I still don't think this is enough to Boone because... Boone's not picked because he essentially has one less ability than every other character in the game. His right click being able to scope in as good or bad as you want to say it is, that being in place of an actual ability automatically puts him at a disadvantage. Next we have Flux. Flux, they say, high skill floor, her left click takes some effort, but good flex players can be hard to KO. I don't think you can use good players can be hard to kill as a reason to change a character 
because good players are good players so that doesn't necessarily mean it's the character's fault they did butcher flux's ultimate though they increased the time you can enter flux burst after an ability activation so you can't spam your uh black hole cat and then immediately go into flux burst anymore they reduced your jump multiplier in flux burst they reduced your movement speed in flux burst they increased the time after you get out of flux burst that you can get health back and they made it to where if you use black hole cat while in flux verse you come out of flux verse immediately upon using the ability and not right when you use the ability if that makes sense so you exit flux verse as soon as you hit the button to use the ability not as soon as you actually throw the black hole cat of all of these i think the one that was needed was the last one being able to throw your black hole cat while you're invisible is what made her like gave her a step above in my opinion all of these others are like the reduction to the jump multiplier and the movement speed is just going to make her a lot easier to track and essentially makes going invisible useless because you already leave behind a trail now it's just easier to follow that trail <laughs> Next is Kai to the uh, second meta character after Blastbeard, if you will. They were usually used in tandem. And in contrast to what they did with Blastbeard and just nerfing his health and nerfing his damage output, they have nerfed two of Kai's abilities in that they have nerfed her snow globe and they reduced the duration of it. It is now three seconds less. So that is less time that it is actually on the field. And they also reduced the damage buff and the incre the impulse buff while Kai is standing inside of it. So now if she's inside of her bubble, all she will get is the charge rate increase. So a lot of people are speculating now in the comments of this Reddit post, they're speculating that her snow globe is only going to be good for defense and there's no there's definitely not as much of an incentive to use it aggressively to throw it and then use it to push forward and do damage and pressure a team it's going to be a lot more defensive minded they also nerfed her grapple hook so now if you hit an enemy with it the increase there's an increase in cooldown but the normal base cooldown was reduced from 11 to 10 seconds so that is a thing not sure how big that is the snow globe is the big nerf on kai lay leaf is next up Leaf is squishy, he's small, and he's close range. So they decided to essentially give him a little more health and then make his charge, his fully charged primary, do a little more damage. It's no longer a uh, tick, and it does damage up to three times as long as I stay inside. So the damage interval got increased. It can do more damage, long story short. Plink, like Leaf, is a close range champion, but instead of changing anything for Plink, all they did was give him a little more health. They did give him a soft aimbot a couple updates ago, so giving him a little more health is good. I still don't think Plink is going to be meta as much as I love him. I don't think he's going to be up there. And the last character that was changed was Rev, and they changed her special. So her, her Vroom Vroom, called Shatter Slam, her Vroom Vroom into a kick... They made it to where she has damage reduction. She takes less damage in it. That wasn't the problem with the Vroom Vroom. The problem with the Vroom Vroom is that even if you're in it, if you get hit by something, you're still affected by impulse. So they want you to play aggressive with her. So you Vroom Vroom into people and then kick them with your hoverboard. You can't do that if you're being impulsed backwards. So them not affecting that, I don't think Rev is going to be changed. I don't think she's going to see that much more play because of this here there's a whole slew of artifact changes that i have on screen now and all of these essentially all of the damage artifacts got buffed if it is a red artifact it got a buff you now do more damage if you're holding it uh there was a few other ones that got nerfed bottomless box got buffed but bastion bell got a nerf so those are 
the artifact changes. So big thing to take away from there. If it's red, you now do more damage than you did. They also changed a game mode, Treasure Hunt. None of the high skill competitors love it. All the competitive players, they don't enjoy it. They say it's not competitive. And in their FSG's journey to change this, they now made it to where if you are holding the treasure chest and you get a knockout, you will score three coins for your team and it will take three coins away from the treasure chest. So it's essentially, you're holding the treasure chest, you get a knockout, the number of time before you drop the treasure chest goes down by three seconds and you score three coins for your team. It is a little bit of an incentive. I'm not sure it's enough of an incentive, but again, we'll just have to see in game if that changes anything. And that's it for the updates. It doesn't address every single character. There's no new content. There's no, no news on ranked. And I think this is a bit of lackluster for them to have promised this and drummed this up to be this huge game changing update that's going to be monumental in the history of Rocket Arena. Yeah, you balance some characters, but it took you this long to balance those characters and there's nothing added to the game. So we'll have to see what the tournament looks like in a couple of weeks, but I honestly don't know if this is enough. We still haven't heard from ranked players are still leaving. And even the players that are coming into the game are asking for content. They're asking for something to keep them on the game. And we'll just have to see if Rocket Arena is ever going to deliver on that for those players. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like on it. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about this, this update, this patch. Let me know if you think any of these character updates were needed or not needed or overtuned or undertuned. Subscribe if you are new and I uh, hope to see you guys soon. Peace.